Greetings viewers. Today's video is going to be somewhat unusual, for a tech video that is. I would like to talk about a biometric um, trigger lock made by Bison, model number L2. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at what comes in the box the manual and in this case i would say a very useful one with decent both illustrated and written instructions the fingerprint trigger lock right off the box it has some weight to it and the physical key together with the micro usb charging cable stashed in the little black box the manual as mentioned is well written and provides easy to follow steps it takes less than a minute to read and less than a minute to register the first also known as the administrator's fingerprint this trigger lock can register multiple fingerprints may that be fingerprints of one or several people the whole process is seamless if the instructions are followed step by step the physical key is needed to unlock and remove the bottom part of the lock to begin with. Then the rubber cover has to be removed to gain access to the quote-unquote set button underneath. Once the set button is visible, grab the pin provided in the kit, press and hold it down for two seconds. The LED on the lock will begin blinking blue, indicating the readiness to register the first fingerprint. Place and hold your finger down on the fingerprint reader until the LED blinks red once. Then lift your finger, wait a second and repeat the process five more times. If done correctly, the LED will light up with static blue indicating a successful registration of the fingerprint. When repeating the registration process, place your finger at a slightly different angle every time. This will lower the chance of false fingerprint reading. Although I have purchased this trigger lock only recently, I have tested it vigorously and I can say that the claim of lower than 2% false readings on the box of the product is in fact true given one's finger is dry and clean at the time of the attempt now let's see how it fits on an actual gun safety first of course have to be certain that the gun is not loaded thus is safe to try the lock on the part that grabs the gun and blocks access to the trigger is very similar to many other trigger locks sold nowadays may that be with a code or a key so if you have used trigger locks in the past the experience you will have with this one will be similarly intuitive the grab is firm and does not seem to give at all which is great considering trigger locks are meant to stay and block the access to the trigger now i must mention that i have read a negative review about this lock stating that the lock does not fit glocks well particularly glocks and actually does not secure the trigger properly I do not have a Glock, so I am not able to confirm nor deny that claim. But I have tested this lock on several handguns, shotguns and other rifles, none of which presented any fitment challenges. There is something to consider. If someone happens to keep their handgun in the original box that the handgun came with, this trigger lock could present some challenges due to its size it is quite the unit as for the security part of it it depends on what you expect a trigger lock to do but then again any trigger lock can be opened given enough time skills and the correct tools may that be a lock picking kick or just a hammer be all that as it may looking forward to your comments that is it for this one thank you so much for watching if you have been if you happen to like this video please do not shy away from clicking like and subscribing i'll see you in the next one take care bye